Hello everyone, thank you for watching my videos. I've had a lot of audience in the past few months and the questions around how do I pursue a master's in the field of HCI and UX without already having a bachelor's in design. So this is to answer all of those questions. I'm going to dive into all those colleges and universities in the US that are affordable to go to and that do not require a bachelor's in design or that give a foundation in UX and HCI. So let's dive in. So the first college here is Toro College, which offers an MA in Web and Multimedia Design. So the good thing about this college is that it offers design plus front-end development. So if you're looking to become a designer plus some experience in coding, this is a good place to be at. It also offers a lot of focus on graphic design, web design, UI, UX, modeling, and animation. So it's a good uh, diverse program and also offers foundational design courses. Uh, they do have a capstone project which, uh, which serves as a great project for your portfolio. Uh, there are graduate research assistantships available so uh, they can offer you tuition fee waiver or support you in your living expenses. The location is uh, in New York so that's great. Uh, some of the cons here are that it's not focused on UX research. So if you're looking for to go uh, to become a UX researcher or a usability analyst, this is not the place to be at. Uh, there are also a lot of coding and development courses. So if you're not into that, do not choose this college. The application deadlines are on a rolling basis. So I would suggest apply as soon as you can. Uh, the fee is around $15, $50 and uh, portfolio here is optional. Rest, all the documents are similar. I would suggest you strongly to uh, give your portfolio wherever it is mentioned as, as optional because they might look at it and it can serve as an edge compared to other, other candidates. Um, two LOAs are requested here, SOP is required, and the TOEFL IELTS minimum score is 80 uh, versus 6. The fees is really low, it's only $26,000 for two years, and uh, with the graduate assistantship, I think it's quite an affordable place to be at. So moving on, the next university is University of North Texas, which offers an MA in Interaction Design. Uh, it focuses a lot on UX process, design thinking, interaction design, and also data visualization. The format offered is really interesting. It offers a studio lab collaborative format, which is great for teamwork and getting a sense of how industry UX process look like. The, uh, the program offers a capstone project and a lot of other hands-on projects, which are really great for a portfolio. The only con here is that it's not a research focused program and it focuses on information and data visualization. So if those are the fields you're not interested in, this might not be the best place to be at. Deadlines are uh, in June, October and January with an application fees of $75. Again, all of the documents required are similar with an SOP of around 300 to 500 words. The TOEFL and IELTS score required here are 79 and 6. Fees is really low. It's around only $23,000 for a one and a half year program, which is really great. It also comes with funding options, including a graduate assistantships, which offers you tuition fee waiver and other TA and RA options. So next, the University of uh, Kansas. So they offer an MA in uh, design with concentration in interaction and the user experience design. So they offer two different concentrations. One is focused on design management and strategy, and the other is focused on interaction design and user experience design. So you can choose where you want to go. If you're someone who already has a, an education in design, you might want to choose the design management and strategy course. And uh, they offer a, a broad variety of courses, and there are also thesis-based options for you to choose what research you want to do in the future. The only con here is that they have stated on their website that they're looking for people who already have an education in design and a requirement of two years of work in design is required. I would still um, request you to go and look at their program if you have the required work experience. If you do not have two years work experience, that is a mandatory thing, so you just cannot apply. But I think the education field is uh, it's something that they might compromise on uh, if you do have an experience in the field deadline for the fall uh, the first deadline is on april and the extended one is on july and for the spring it's november extended to december application fees is 85 dollars and documents required are quite similar but they require three different lors and uh, the 12 and ielts proficiency requirement is 92 and 6.5 
fees i would say is medium it's around 35000 dollars for a one and a half year course and they also offer teaching assistantships but i think personally it's difficult to get those because they've stated that you need to have teaching experience and ux experience to get those so i think that might be hard but if the fees is affordable and you do have the required level of experience this might be a good program The next university here is State University of New York at Oswego, uh, which offers a course of MA in Human Interact, Human Computer Interaction. Again, this comes with two different tracks. So one is the project or thesis based track, which is good for people pursuing PhD, versus the professional track, which is for uh, someone who wants to go into the industry directly after the program. There is a lot of HCI focus. They offer electives in research methods, graphic design, web design, and also artificial intelligence, and you have the option to focus on research. But this is a project based program, so even though there are different courses, there is still less number of courses you can take throughout the program, and they lack. diversity in the course offering so as you can see it is very focused on just ux and hci courses so they do not have any courses apart from this particular specialization rolling deadline again uh, the application fees is 65 dollars which is quite low and uh, the documents required are as usual uh, around 500 words of essay is required here For English proficiency i couldn't find a lot of information but i'm quite sure that they would ask a toefl or ielts score The fee level here is thirty-one thousand dollars, which is medium for a two-year course, uh, and also assistantships are available. Uh, they also offer merit-based scholarships throughout the program. Moving on, the next is University of Maryland, Baltimore County. Uh, they offer an MS in Human-Centered Computing. Again, this uh, program also offers two different tracks: uh, one for the professional for people, and another for people interested in PhD. Uh, they offer a lot of HCI and also UI design courses, which sets a good foundation in the field. And they have a thesis option, which is for people who want to specialize uh, in HCI. They can take up an independent study and uh, focus on those topics for their PhD. The only con here uh, that I could find is the courses are focused a lot on UI and graphic design, and there is less diversity in the courses they offer. Also, uh, there are no course courses around business or development or data analysis. Although this is a great course for research because it offers an independent study and there is a thesis option, but it's not a great course if you are looking for course based option. And one interesting thing about this program is that they ha- they have a mandatory programming course requirement. So in order to graduate this program, you need to take one programming course which they have specified. It is quite a basic course, but if you are not at all interested in programming, this might not be the best course for you. The application deadlines are in October and May for different semesters, and application fees is fifty dollars. Portfolio here is recommended, so I strongly recommend you to submit one. Uh, and there are three LOAs that are required. An SOP here is called goal statement, so they require a one to two page write up where you explain what what are your future goals and why you are interested in the program. The English proficiency here is uh, to fill or IELTS eighty uh, versus six point five score, and the fees I would rate it as medium. That is thirty four thousand dollars for two years. I did not find any information on funding, and I think it's difficult for an international student to find funding here. So those are all the universities in the U.S. Uh, that are affordable and also do not require a lot of experience in the field of design. They are foundational courses, and I hope you found this video helpful from that perspective. This might help you if you're looking to transition to a field of UX or if this is the first time that you're pursuing an education in this field. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked it and please like, share and subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you can be notified of any future videos. I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.